Maybe I missed something here. Is there a reason we're already naming the 2024 Sneaker of the Year the first week in January? What am I missing? I, I know a lot has happened within the first five to six days of the year. And maybe I'm getting this up on the 7th. Like, who knows? But why and how? Like, logically, I just want to know how. And you probably know the two sneakers that everyone is already naming for sneaker of the year. It's either the Military Blue 4 or the Bread 4 that we are now getting in a leather version. And uh, I can call myself out to say I don't wear... So many of the retros that I have here, right, that are on this side, they are like the OG colorways. They're not worn as much as so many other <laughs> pairs that I have, right? I have them. I love them. Um, they're going to get a lot more wear. Like more of my pairs will get more wear in 2024 because I'm just not interested in buying as much as what I did in the past. So that means let me enjoy more of the pairs that I already have. That will be a focus for 2024. But I have this pair. Blessed to have it. Um, I do wish still that I went up a half size in this. So uh, we all know how that kind of feels. But this will return leather. It's truly something different, right? So when you want to think about it being reimagined, it is truly that. No doubt there. I've seen everything thrown around already that this or the Military Blue 4 would be sneaker of the year. Do we remember 2023? Like there were really late releases and collaborations announced for summer, for fall, like Q4. Think about how many of you put Joe Fresh Goods and the New Balance 990 V4 pack for 1998. Um, Think about how many of you put that in like your top five or your top three. Some of you even thought that it was sneaker of the year. I guess we're just negating all of that in 2024, right? There's no way possible that no other pair could possibly contend with these two in 2024. Also, that Military Blue 4, if it's a mass release, like mass production, we understand quality control could be uh, uh, just not even in the mix. It could be bad. Like, that's always a fear. That's a very real fear that you can have with a retro that comes back, but it's produced in really massive quantities. They could just not care about production. And the quality could be bad. It could be very bad. Now, where I stand on those two pairs, I don't know that I'm going for those. I just, um, I just don't, you know, this, uh, the way in which I'm approaching shoes this year, discernment to a whole new level, okay? Being very choosy, very choosy, very picky. I don't know that either one of these is in contention. I already have this Brett 4, and I don't wear a lot of the 4s that I already have. Like, I have a 4. I have the older Air Jordan 4, the white cement pair. Not, not, I don't have, not that Nike Air, but the Jetman on the back. And when I tell you that itself has just sat in the box for so long that I'm going to give it its due wear in 2024... I don't wear enough of the fours that I have right now. And I have some stellar fours. I have the off-white four. I have the Levi, uh, the Levi's four. So these fours are actually not jumping off the page at me as something that I'm just dying to have right now in my collection. That's probably vastly different from you. You may see this as like a grail for you. And if it is, I wish you the best of luck in getting it. I also just think we are really jumping the gun here and saying that this is these are going to be sneaker of the year. Like I just, it's a lot. Why? Think about Jay Tips and his Gridazor 2000, Remember Who Fronted. That didn't drop until like May, I think, in 2023. And that was sneaker of the year for a lot of us. It was just so refreshing. We're just doing a lot of whatever 2024 has to offer a disservice in picking sneaker of the year already. It's just um, let the year breathe. Let the month breathe. <laughs> let the month breathe. Let us at least get through Q1. And then maybe, like, I understand with Jordan Brand, we've seen, like, so much of what they're already going to put out. Um, and I'll, I'll share my thoughts on that in terms of some pairs that I think I could want to go for. But we already know how, how I am. If I don't get it, it is what it is now. I have other goals that I am certainly um, happy to chase and, and steps to put into action for those this year. And so if a sneaker doesn't happen, I promise you there are so many others that I haven't picked up. They're actually below retail right now on GOAT. So that's a great reality for me. But please go ahead and comment below your thoughts on people already naming sneaker of the year for 2024 before the first full week of this year is up. If this is what 2024 is giving, my goodness, like the longest ride. We are in for the longest ride. We are. I, I guess it's a good thing I'm running again to get my cardio and endurance up. Because we need to survive this, all right? So I appreciate you tuning in. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.